Guess what, everyone? We're back! Except this time we're going to be doing a little bit focusing on something different these days. These days we're going to be focusing on golf because that is my passion. Anybody who knows me knows that I love golf and uh, I'm going to put a lot more effort into this. That was the problem with the old Joshua Plan uh, YouTube vlog and this is going to be a little bit different, so stay tuned. I am uh, excited about today. I'm at an 8.6 handicap, which is my lowest uh, handicap I've had so far in my life. And I'm hoping to get down to a six this year. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens with that. Well, hook the hell out of it, but it should be uh, just on the left side in the trees. We'll see if I can get something out of there. I smoked that drive 323. So I'm pretty happy with that drive. <laughs> Let's see how the next shot goes. Oh, come on, turn left. Uh, not bad. <laughs> Love it. Murdy, baby. Ooh, I hit that good. Get there. As Brendan gets ready to go, I'll show you my new clubs that I got for the year. I got the, uh, the Mizuno MP20s in the uh, pitch through six, and then I got the Mizuno MP20 HMBs. Uh, the three, four, and five. I freaking love these clubs. They are so easy to hit. It feels like, and makes these long par four, or excuse me, long par three is a lot easier to to make it on the green with. Ooh, slow down, slow down. That didn't come out too bad though. I'll take that. Nice. Whew. Dog leg left par four go on the left hand side over here this is all out of bounds and uh, it's real easy to hook your ball into that crap over there so i tend to start my ball just right here and just try to have it draw over to the left and see what happens i was definitely flirting with the left hand side over here about three and a half, four feet. Ooh. Ooh, I hit that real good. It's right at it. Come on, be enough. Be up there. Ooh, I'm on the green. A little, a little bit short behind it, but. Oh, you gotta hit it, Josh. <sighs> just leaving myself these like nice little four or five footers just to uh, make me mad. Ooh. Oh. It's gonna make for a longer second shot. This is uh, uphill on your second shot, so you get a club up one. I'm about 173 out. Terrible shot, worst swing of the day. 
Brendan's got his second shot right here. He's actually in a better spot than I am, and he's going to be probably closer to me on his second shot. Oh, and he smokes it up there. It's going to be up there. It's going to be rolling close. We'll see. Well, I'm on the green, but it's not very close. Ball's right there. So, hit about a 15-footer for par. My putter's been money today. It saved me a few times here today for, you know, not making bogey. So we'll see if it saves me on this one. Oh, get up there. Get up there. Oh, I had it. I freaking had it. Just not hard enough. It wasn't a bad swing. I just started it off to the right hand side a little bit more than I wanted to on that one. So. I'll take that all day. Here's where I ended up. This hole can be so frustrating because you think you hit a decent shot and everything slopes to the right. So the flag is up over here, up over these trees. You can barely see it behind that pine tree right there. So I gotta go like low to get underneath it again. Ah. Yep. All right, now I'm in a predicament again here because I hit this tree right above me and now I have this shot. Oh. <laughs> all you can do, all you can do is laugh at a shot like that. <laughs> this is one of those frustrating holes where you always seem to have one of them every single round at least when you're the handicap that I am where you just suck it up so bad well I found my ball problem is it's underneath a pine tree <laughs> so I only brought that 60 degree well that wasn't good but it's out <laughs> and we'll just take you along for the ride. I'm not even going to cut the shot here because <laughs> my ball's still right here. But I got nothing to contend with, at least as far as trees and crap, so. <laughs> Focus. Focus, Josh. At least that one would be decent. That would be awesome if it went in. Oh, that was so close to going in. At least that was a decent shot for the last one. And if I make this, I'll triple bogey. Woo! I hit that one good. I need a birdie after that last hole. I'm on the green. Last hole in the front nine is a fairly short par four. It's 321. Just uh, to the right of the pine trees up here is where the pin is. Oh, no. There's a ball right over here. We're going to check and see if it's... Is it yours? Yeah. No, that's Brendan's ball. Still haven't found mine yet. You can grab that and then you'll just have to take a penalty stroke. This could be mine. Looks like a Pro V1. At least that's promising. <laughs> so that did end up being my ball, I can tell, because I have a pink line on it. It was right over here. So now I can go straight to the fairway and take a two-stroke penalty. So I'll be hitting my fourth shot into the green here. that so counting the uh, penalties that I had this was my fifth shot in so if I make this all right that was my fourth shot in so one two three four this will be my fifth shot so this will be for bogey if I make this shot right here
Well, we're done with the uh, front nine. So I'm just gonna record the front nine for now. On a different day, we'll show you guys the back nine. But uh, uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with that score. I had some really good shots through the first like six holes. Um, and then you know, seven, eight, nine kind of fell apart on me where I had like uh, triple bogey, double bogey. <laughs> But I shot a 40, so I'm I'm ecstatic about uh, shooting a 40 with that on my uh, on my card. So take that, and we'll see you guys next time.